I'm DJ Jasper, and uh, we had a party last night, and we blew one of the speakers. But first, we're gonna uh, let you hear what it sounds like when you blow the speaker, or the tweeter inside the speaker. So this one we didn't blow up in the party, as you can hear. And this one we did blow up. So the tweeter inside is broken. Okay. So first thing you want to do is take off the grill. So once you have all the screws undone, what you want to do is grab one screw and then kind of wedge it in between and then pull out the grill and put it down. The second step what you want to do is you're going to want to take out all of the screws for this one. So. so once you unscrewed most of them, you want to keep the top one in or else this will like fall out. Once you've carefully detached it, you really carefully want to pull it out. Alright, once you have pulled out the tweeter, what you want to do is there's two wires. There's a big wire and a small wire. Alright, you can just pull these out and you don't have to worry about which goes to which because it's pretty easy to identify which one's the small one and which one's the big one. Once you've detached the wires, you want to put it on somewhere where you can't scratch the plastic. Alright, so then you want to uh, twist it to the left so you, so it slowly comes off. Just turn it and loose it, and then here you go. So once you have detached it, you can put this aside. Alright, when well you're just left with this. So what you need to do is you want to grab a screwdriver because this part of the tweeter is really uh, delicate. So what you want to do is start unscrewing the... So you, it can be a little tricky to get these out at first because they, they're magnetic and so the screws, so you might feel a little force when you're pulling them out. So then you can really carefully pull this off. We bought this online for about 12 bucks so we could replace this one. Okay. So you just want to open it up. And you'll take it out. And then this should pop right off. Like that. And then you put the new one. So you put it on the uh, plate, and you have to make sure that all the holes align so it only goes in one way to make sure they all align. If you're not sure if they're aligned, what you want to do is you want to twist it a little bit, and you can feel a little bit of a notch or resistance when you twist it. You have a little like shock, okay? This is the tricky part is when you have to flip it upside down. And then you have to align holes, right? Like this. And once you've aligned them, you can start screwing the screws back in. Now that we have the finished project, we're going to have to test it before we put it back together because we previously put it back together and then it failed and then we have to take it completely apart. Now you have to put the, the, the small wire with the small um, hook and you want to press it together. You don't want to be too harsh on it, but you can feel a little, like you can feel it slide when you put it in. It should kind of make a clicking noise. We're going to put the plug back into the speaker to see if it works. The 
it's working now because you can hear that the uh, it's making high pitches again, so you can put it back together. So you can just twist the horn back on. It's gonna be a little tricky. When you have it screwed on, what you want to make sure so you have this part of the tweeter pointing to the bottom so it's easier. And also, what you want to do is you want to screw on the top screw so it's easier to put the rest in later. Like that. And then finally what you want to do is put the grill back on. I hope you enjoyed this video to repair your speaker for $12.